Hello and welcome to my quarantine series of the survival tips. Today I'm going to be a little personal and I'm going to share a few good things that this quarantine mode has kind of taught me and um, the like the, the positives that I have learned and hopefully this will help you and inspire you. I don't know if it doesn't great, if it does great. Uh, either way, let's get started. Number one. I have saved 70% of my salary because I haven't spent any money. It is not that I haven't gone shopping. It is not that I haven't bought groceries. It is not like I haven't, we're not enjoying ourselves in terms of um, eating nice food. But I have saved 70% of my salary because we spend, uh, I don't know what we spend on, but basically it has been nice to be able to save some money during this quarantine period. That's number one. Number two is kind of a, associated with this. Number two is realizing that brands like Amazon and shopping complexes, like in India we have Big Bazaar and D-Mart and all these kind of places, they are targeting you to spend more of your money. So what happens then is that you get your salary and then you buy all the things that you need and then you, you're like, no, 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 but I need this. Oh, but I need this. Oh, but I need this. So I have realized that I have to be really careful with these places because they will want to take my money. So um, that is the lesson I have learned. Okay, let's move on to number three. A confession and a realization that I'm not actually that good at time managing. Um, I wake up in the morning, I do my chores, I handle things at home, but I actually don't get enough sleep, I don't get rest, I, I don't eat on time. All the things that I teach my daughter to do or all the things I uh, nag my husband to do, I'm not able to apply to myself. So that is uh, something that I learned over this quarantine time. That the person with the worst time management uh, like skills is me and I really need to work on um, a schedule that will help me be better and more efficient. Home-wise, we're okay. But in terms of my work, um, streamlining, middle of the night, all night edits is not practical when you have to wake up in the morning and you know manage things during the day as well. Um, how much will you sleep in? Like how, how much will your husband you know help you with? So I think that is something that I'm, it's an ongoing process of learning. I'm still learning this. But being better at time managing is something that I really would like to work on. Number four is um, be kind to people, be nice to people. But don't get, don't let people walk all over you. This period is a time where a lot of people will want you to do free stuff. A lot of people will want you to, I mean, collaborations are aside. Uh, being, um, uh, taking care of the poor and needy, yes. But ensure that you are not taking, being taken, um, like, advantage of. And I think the realization came very early in my in this phase that I need to be careful with people adding more work into my life and I need to see where I I can be spread thin and truth is I actually have a lot like I have a plate filled with things that I need to do which many times I'm not even able to do so uh, the the ability or the necessity to say no and say that I'm so sorry but I can't do this project right now especially if it's free um, th that's not fair. Just because it's a quarantine period doesn't mean that as an artist you do free work. Um, so this is less of my experience but more for me helping artists and musicians and whoever. If you are getting paid to um, do work, make sure you are and not being taken advantage of. So yeah, that is, uh, that is a lesson that I'm learning and I, I hope that you can learn from my lesson too. And number five is probably many of us are living in our worst nightmares, okay? Uh, being quarantined, having this deadly virus lurking around. But I have found that this period has probably been the biggest blessing in my life. Um, I never knew that you could be blessed this way. I, I am so happy to um, have this time with family or have this time with my daughter or have this time with my husband or have this time where um, we are literally being, um, of course you can live off fear, uh, but I love the fact that I'm only able to see blessings and maybe it's like me being like positive and forcing myself to be positive maybe it's coping mechanisms but i i my fifth thing is see the blessing in disguise because i'm able to and i can see blessings like a billion blessings every day so um that is uh that is just a little bit this is a little personal that i i just wanted to share 
um to hear the full episode in uh, you can check my podcast it's uh, anchor.fm at planet sang but you can check i'm all over i'm like in spotify and la 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 and itunes and whatever i'm so humble um but i thank you for uh, joining me and i will catch you in the next video